You dicks! <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you help us? Don't you? We. Tell me you're on the air. Hello, we're on the air. <laughs> Sarwood Stern, we're on the air. Problem. Let me tell you something. Why didn't you people? This is a radio station. I'm on the air. USA. USA. You people should have helped us. It has your knee. Please. Please help us. Don't let our planes fly over. Oh. You dicks. <laughs> <laughs> there. <laughs> I think Whoa. you took care of that. Whoa. I don't think we'll have any more problems Whoa. with them. <sighs> I told him, Robin. <laughs> he was speechless. He didn't even know what to say. We? Oui. How dare he? <laughs> Maybe he didn't understand what I was saying. Hmm, that could have been it. I don't know. You know what I should have said to him? What? I, I realized I should have said, La crayon est sur la table. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only other French I know. It means that the... The pencil is on yeah, the table. Yeah, let me Fair call him back. <laughs> well, I went down there yesterday like... <laughs> Rona Della Bate, ladies and gentlemen. And Rob Weller, Mary Hart, and a special report by Rona Delabate, who interviews <laughs> Diane Carroll. Does Diane Carroll have blonde pubic hair? <laughs> Does Diane Carroll shave that thing? <laughs> Does Diane Carroll... Was Diane Carroll under LSD therapy for four years? Let's turn to Rona Delabate. Rona? Rona, what did you find out? <laughs> oh. Hi, boss. Uh, what I did was I went down to uh, the bookstore where she was at and asked her a bunch and of... Stop putting on that dopey voice. Just talk normal. Okay, what I did, I went down there. <laughs> <laughs> I, see, now you're not going to be able to... You can't tell the difference. <laughs> no, I went down there, like you said, just as we walked up, her limousine pulled up and like 10 people got out of this limo. None of them who looked like they were with her. Were they white or black? White. Like there was this like... White as the driven snow, I might like this, add. There was like this old white lady who was like like white trash looking like she was like 65-ish yeah and like stretch pants and stuff I don't know what she was doing <laughs> stretch with, pants yeah I don't know oh. what she was doing with uh, Diane Carroll and then her agent she's is, reminding Diane Carroll how good she looks <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's doing there that's Diane Carroll's portrait that's the one that's getting older hey maybe that's uh, Diane Carroll's white mother because <laughs> she's got to have somebody white in her family I don't know you don't get Cafe Olay from being Kunta Quinte's direct <laughs> descendant she's not Cafe Olay she's oh brown. come on yeah okay fine brown <laughs> A very light brown, cocoa brown. Well, let's take a look at the picture. And pictures. that nose is not a black woman's nose. That's probably a job. Oh, you think so? <laughs> yeah, that's got to be a nose job. <laughs> Nobody's nose is that small. <laughs> hey, don't I know it? <laughs> that's like the impossible dream. Because like, she's got like a big bone in her nose. Yeah. Hey, who put that bone in uh, Diane Carroll's nose? <laughs> Gary, was that you, you nut? No, boss. <laughs> I've seen you put that bone in some weird places, but never in Diane <laughs> Carroll's nose. Not there. I'll tell you. So let's uh, find out about this interview. What so what happened you is, you, did you, I hope you asked her some good stuff, man. I don't want to yeah. sit here and listen to some crappy interview. Well, okay, now what you have to understand is the first four questions, <laughs> the first four questions on the interview yeah. are like real fluff questions. Yeah. You know, about, and then you got to the good show. Did you ask her about LSD therapy? Yes, I did. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Did she, like, want to kick you in the teeth when you asked her? No, but she, let's put it this way. The first four questions were, like, real light and simple, and she probably thought, oh, this cute little boy. And then when it got to the LSD question, she definitely <laughs> got tripped up. What, does she have a, a sight problem? She said, cute little boy? <laughs> yeah. She asked me Gary, to dinner. don't flatter yourself. <laughs> she, she asked me to dinner. Really? Yeah, what's well, in the question. Well, I don't think she meant it. Oh, but she really? Did. Yeah. Or she asked you if you had any garlic bread on you. <laughs> she smelled it all over your breath. Here, here we go. Testing, one, two. Okay. Oh, there's Gary testing. <laughs> Gary, Gary Thank you. Bye-bye. This is Gary. Hello, Gary. Oh, no. Yeah, this is too funny. Hello, Gary. She's probably, oh, what a load yeah. this guy is, and I got to talk to him. Did you Hello, have like, Gary. Did you have, oh, oh God. <laughs> I can see I'm her. I'm going to start talking to the, like that. Hello, Gary. She looked yesterday like she wanted to rip Jack Cafferty's head off his shoulders. <laughs> and Jack Cafferty, all he does is, he get, he's incredible on Live at Five. He, he's finally going to interview someone, and he's talking about how incredibly painful her book was. And he can't even tell you anything about it. He can't tell you why and then all he does is kiss her ass for about 20 minutes it was a great book you're a very talented lady great book very talented lady that's all they do yeah those are the majority of the interviews so i'm sure i mean if she was ready to rip her hair out of her head when uh, jack cafferty <laughs> was interviewing her <laughs> no she was actually in a very good mood because people were you know people were kissing her and bringing her they brought her they a, kissed somebody, her somebody brought her a dozen roses and did like you her, kiss her no i didn't her teacher from uh, uh diane could up. you uh, lift up your dress i want to kiss you i mean she actually let people kiss her <laughs> Yeah. Oh, boy. Ooh. Oh, man. <laughs> Some people do anything to be a star. Yeah, man. I don't kiss anybody. 
I barely kiss my wife. I'm so afraid of everything nowadays <laughs> and germs. Yeah. Talk to you for a few seconds. Um, also, have you ever heard of Howard Stern before? No. Okay, he's a morning uh, jock here in New York. We called our listeners this morning and asked them to ask some questions to ask you. First of all, how do you feel about being called? I told ask him the questions. I told him to say that because it would make him more comfortable. Like he's not personally asking these questions. Right. <laughs> yeah, but he didn't ask those questions. Right. A series like Dynasty. I love it. Why? <laughs> Huh. What was she supposed to say? Oh, I hate it. It's a real drag. I hate it. I think uh, John Forsyth is, is a turd. Because <laughs> it's exciting and everyone seems to be... Uh, She's saying, if I have to answer one more question about Dynasty, I'm going to kill myself. <laughs> and I'm going to kill this hairy Italian. <laughs> Very excited by the show. Um, I work with people that I enjoy. Aren't you glad you got rid of those little babies? I uh, have uh, dialogue that I enjoy, clothes that I really enjoy. And I think it's a... It's a happy place to go to work. <laughs> wait till he gets the LSD therapy. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. Did you on. ask if she has blonde pubic hair? Uh, I missed that one, boss. I just oh, you're such a wussy. How do you manage to look so young? How do I manage to look so young? I don't. I think I kill. I, I drink so the blood of Christian babies. <laughs> <laughs> Women my age are looking better and better every every year. I think that is the way we take care of ourselves. We are more aware of the food that we put into our bodies and a little exercise and I think it helps. Um, is Joan Collins as bitchy or pair as she <laughs> Joan a is a love. I adore her. She's also very talented. And she'll also kick your ass if you say anything <laughs> bad about her. <laughs> and if she were not the character that everyone loves to hate, I don't know that we would be as successful as we are. You know, as bad as Gary's doing here, these are the same questions Jack Cafferty asked. Yeah. <laughs> You're no more retarded than he is. <laughs> you could work for Live at Five. Excellent. And your haircut doesn't look like any monsters, at least. <laughs> and I wear my pants down to my ankles, not right. above them. I know. People can't see that on camera. It's too bad, because we used to see him walking around the commissary and have his pants pulled up all the way. The uh, high waters. <laughs> what? Waiters. Yeah. Um, what's the future of Dominique? Will she marry Ken Howard's character? I don't know the future of Dominique. I'm in the dark, just as you're in the dark. But I Yeah, I would say you're in light brown, not dark. <laughs> Well, she's darker than Gary. That's what she was saying. You should have asked if that white woman was her mother. You should have <laughs> asked it. I mean, you know, Gary, sometimes you, you know, got to go out on a limb. Good questions, Gary. If you did that, people go wild. I'm hoping she'll do something. When is the LSD therapy right come now. Out? Okay. Very interesting to keep everybody watching. Um, in a recent article, and I don't know if this is mentioned in the book, uh, we read that you, that you at one time underwent LSD therapy. Is that true, and if so, what were the results? That question is much too deep and profound for me to answer in such a short notice. Have me over another time. We'll talk about it for about an hour. Okay. Ooh. Hey! Uh, <laughs> dig it. Hey, she wants, uh, she wants you over her place. I know, I know. Uh, excuse me, could I have your phone number so I can call you? Oh, to talk about we, the LSD? we get together. <laughs> hey, so evidently it must be true. Oh, yeah, it is true. <laughs> <laughs> and it must not be mentioned in the book or should I mean, how goofy. It. I mean, I could almost see a woman getting fooled into having sex with her therapist, but taking LSD for four years? <laughs> it was another time. You don't understand. Uh, have, me over to, have me over and I'll discuss it. <laughs> you, you know where Union Bell is? <laughs> I got my own room and my own bowling trophies. You got a piece of paper, I'll give you directions. Uh, do you make a left on Nassau Boulevard? Yeah. I got cable. <laughs> I got cable, even showtime. I even got my own set in my room. How many guys who have cable uh, subscribe to the golden package? <laughs> Do you have showtime? No, just we just have the basic package. Oh, no wonder she's not coming over. <laughs> well, let me see what's on HBO tonight. <laughs> uh, yeah, you could hang out in my room for a while. <laughs> okay. Um, Ooh, I, did she get, like, visibly upset? Well, her, her face definitely changed moods, <laughs> no doubt about it. <laughs> she turned into an old white woman. <laughs> <laughs> feel about Reagan's bombing of Libya? Um, I think he's put himself in the same category as Gaddafi. Ooh, ooh, mm. Gary, a political thing. I don't think Jack asked that question. No. No, Jack asked to ask that question. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, Gary. No, there's more to that question, too. In what way? That, too, is a very serious question. Do you really want to ask a question that serious? Yeah, do we really want to ask a serious question to a woman who, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Dresses up and runs around saying she's Blake's sister? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you really want to ask a question of such a goofy person as myself? <laughs> you know, she, they get freaked out by this stuff. Yeah, hey, this is pretty interesting. So she's like a real traitor, huh? 
Yeah, I guess so. Traitor? Yeah, what is it? Hey, talk about our minute. president this like that. This is America, where you have the freedom to dissent. Yeah, let her go to Libya. Let's see what kind of television yeah. she does there. Uh, she won't be making love to Ken Howard. She'll be making love to a camel. <laughs> in this short period of time. Well, that's up to you. I think we'll answer it another time. Hey, Gary, you're... Another invitation. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What other time? You should have uh, been more... At what time would that be? Man, she wants your phone alone. I think she was looking at your hot sausage in your pants. <laughs> hey, would you like some provolone, Miss Gal? Hey, you were supposed to go in for the clothes, Gare. Hey, Gary, this is pretty hot. <laughs> now what comes up next, the David Frost thing? Yeah, she's Oh, boy, she's ready to choke you now. <laughs> <laughs> she answers this one real quick. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss Carl. Uh, what do you think of being on Dynasty? And do you have blonde pubic hair? <laughs> and finally, again, I don't know if this is mentioned as a book. Uh, he, he, he keeps... Uh, he keeps uh, referring yeah. to the book. Because he's getting... I can tell you're uptight. I yeah, well, I was getting yeah. uptight, so I figured if it was in the book, she'd have to talk about it. The listeners want to know what led to the breakup of your relationship with David Frost. Um, <laughs> we were incompatible. <laughs> That's okay. it? <laughs> Get out! <laughs> You dick! <laughs> oh, she probably choked that old woman when she got in the car. Yeah, that old woman's dead now. <laughs> Get chicken entrails all over the house with your name on them. <laughs> hello, Gary. Oh, hello, you delibate. <laughs> Incubus. You didn't ask her about Vic Damone. You didn't even ask her about Vic Damone? Is there more stuff on here? No, that's it. That's the whole, uh... Would you like to say that? That's it. Listen? Thank you very much. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. Bye now. Oh, oh, yeah, she appreciates yeah. it. <laughs> I appreciate it. I'm going to kill you. Thank you very much. <laughs> Just, uh, she's working on a doll now. That yeah. looks like Gary. A voodoo doll. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't tell you she's really from Haiti. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that was pretty cool. I'm decent. Oh. Michelle, you can really sing. I like this. Sure can. When Cass was a sophomore, could have swapped more, but she changed her mind one day. Standing on the turnpike, thumb out to hitchhike, take her to the yard right away. When Danny met Cass, he gave her love bumps, called John and Zoll, and that was the mud once McGuinn and McGuire couldn't get no higher, but that's what they were aiming at. No one's getting fat except Mama Cass. Did that sound good? You think that sounded good? Uh -huh. That's like a new Mamas and Papas thing. <laughs> what do you think? On the road? Are we happening? <laughs> What's the next verse? Want to do one more uh, verse? All right. Mug Mugwomps. Okay. Mugwomps, high jumps, slow Mugwomps, slumps, big, big bumps. Don't you work as hard as you play? Make up, break up, everything is shake up. Guess it had to be that way. Bastions all on the spoonful. Michelle, John, and Danny getting very tuneful. McGuinn and McGuire just to catch a fire in LA. You know where that's at. And everybody's getting fat except Mama Cass. Should we do the last one? Broke and busted. The stages can't be trusted. And Mitch, she wants to go on the sea. Cass can't make it. Says we'll have to fake it. We knew she'd come eventually. The reason on American Express card, ten slow rent, but keeping up the heat's hard. Duffy's good vibration, and our imaginations can't go indefinitely. And California dreaming's becoming a reality. Yeah, yeah. This is Michelle Phillips of the Mamas and the Papas, and you're listening to Howard Stern on 92.3 K-Rock. 
And I have never slept with Howard Stern. Oh, sure. Oh, King. King. Wait a second, Robin. I think. Uh, wait a second. Uh, What's happening? Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. Elvis. Uh, what the hell are you? Come on, man. Wait, wait, what's happening? Uh, Fred's fooling around with the music. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Now, who's here? Who am I talking to? This is the king, ladies and gentlemen. Elvis, welcome. Thank you. Gotta go to one for the money, two for the show. You in good voice this morning. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Oh. What is that you, Robin? This, this is me, Elvis, and uh, how are you? I'm dead. It's no <laughs> fun being up here, though. Dear. It's no fun being dead. Really? Heaven is not fun. You're going to be there for, I guess, eternity. Yeah. You know who's up here? Who? Rock Hudson. Yeah, he, he made it to heaven? He's no fun up here, man. Now I have to run around with a frying pan on my ass. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be careful. I was uh, very, very frightened, Mr. Quivers. Very frightened of getting AIDS. But I realize I'm dead, so who cares? Yeah, you can't get anything when you're dead. Yeah, but who wants to? I still wear a frying pan on my ass. <laughs> You don't have sex up in heaven. Oh, sure you do, ladies and gentlemen. I didn't know that. Sex is a very bad thing. Broke up my marriage with Priscilla. I love Priscilla so much. I told Priscilla, if she ever cheated on me after I died, I would flip over in my grave. Uh -huh. That's why they call me Pinwheel Presley. <laughs> Unbelievable. She's busy, huh? <laughs> well, she's busy with that Negro karate instructor. I looked like the Wheel of Fortune after she got through with him. Spinning, ladies and gentlemen. I have really, ladies and gentlemen, I have no malice to the lovely Priscilla, that pig. <laughs> well, I'm glad you bear her no hard feelings. You know something, Miss Quivers? What? How is it being alive? Is it good? It's good. It's fun. You feel things. It's warm now. Oh. Coming into the summer season. I'll tell you, I wish I had married Susan Berserkowitz, the traffic reporter. You know her? Sure I do. If I'd married her, I'd be glad I was dead. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Something to be said for that. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. Do you know, you know who's up here with me in my heaven? Who? My mama. Her name is... Gladys. Gladys. <laughs> <laughs> and that's early. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. Well, you know, I don't call my mama Gladys. You I call don't. her Mama. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I call her Satin. Mm -hmm. Because on the back of my mother's neck, there's a huge fleshy lump. And you can still feel that in heaven? As a matter of fact, I can. The big back of the lump on the, on the back of my mama's neck is called satin. Uh -huh. And I like to sit in heaven and stroke the lump of fat on the back of my mama's neck. Uh -huh. And it's a lucky thing I rub it. When I was a little boy, I was just a little itty bitty boy. Yeah. I would rub the back of my mama's neck. And yeah. my wishes would come true. <laughs> That's true, it's a lucky lump. Yeah. Why do you think we never had that removed with all my money? It's a lucky lump. I see. So lucky I was granted three wishes when I was a little itty bitty boy. What were your three wishes? Money, hit records, and I asked for a big one. A big one? Yeah, I got the biggest dick. I got soupy sales. <laughs> Came home and visited my house. I was gonna say. You. <laughs> I didn't think you were well hung. I'll tell you though, no. Now I got a lump on my back. Oh, wait a second, it's Rock Hudson. Damn homo, get off of me. Damn frying pan is dented. I have to wear a frying pan on my ass. Maybe you should arrange for us to talk to Rock. Rock who? Oh, Rock Hudson. Please, yeah. stick to the script. All right, I'm sorry. Yeah. But I'll tell you something, I miss all you people. Yeah? You know, the one thing that always surprises me about these visits, Elvis. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. It's that you never mention your daughter. Yeah, my lovely daughter. What's her name? Lisa Marie Ballou. Presley, yeah. Ballou Presley. <laughs> Why don't you ever talk about her? My lovely wife, uh, Priscilla Ballou. Yeah. Call her Priscilla Ballou because she's every, she's every damn Negro karate instructor on her knees. Whoa. Priscilla Ballou. Oh, dear. But stop blowing everything. <laughs> i tell you, though. Uh, Do you miss your daughter? You know why I don't talk about my daughter? Why? No material about oh. my daughter. <laughs> I didn't write any. Oh, you 
Yeah, what's wrong with you? That, Don't be asking silly questions, well, ladies and gentlemen. People are wondering, you know. You guys Maybe got next time, here. next time I visit you, I'll talk about my daughter. I think he'd be worried about his daughter. I don't really know that much about my daughter. She's running around here. with a guy six years older than she. I was busy poking women's breasts with pool cues. I didn't have time to get to know my daughter, ladies and gentlemen. But well, you know she was around when you died. Ladies and gentlemen, so good to be with you. So good. You know. I want to say something I never said anywhere on any radio show, mm -hmm. ladies and gentlemen. What's that? My mama, that lump on the back of her neck. Mm -hmm. Well, that lump of fat in the back of her neck was really a breast implant. I'm going to sue personal best for everything they ever had. <laughs> Get in line. <laughs> What has 17 breasts and two handles? What's that? The garbage pellets, Sloan Kettering. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's horrible. But really, ladies and gentlemen. I guess when you're dead, that kind of humor is funny. Oh, yeah, we make fun of everything up here. We got nothing better to do. You know something? One of the things I like to do is sing, and I feel, I feel my presence is fading. Uh, you want to sing first before you go? Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to sing a song. That would make us so happy. You know, the king has been working on some new music. Yeah, new uh, stuff. Where's my guitar? Let me have my guitar here. All right. Let me... You gonna play? Yes. Okay. You play electric up there. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I've been working on my guitar playing. Very good. Working on a song for you. Come and listen to a song from a man who's dead. Fell down in the bathroom and bumped his head. His girlfriend found him, his lips were turning blue. And up from his diaper came a bubbling goo. Oh. Duty, that is. <laughs> Presley Poo Poo. Well, the next thing you know, all the Elvis is in the ground. I told nice young Priscilla not to bang everything around. I'd surely be angry and I'd surely be mad if I ever found out she wrapped her lips around my dad. Oh, please. Tough to swallow, knee pad city, gag city, daddy schmaddy. <laughs> oh, wait a second. How come you write lyrics <laughs> like Howard Stern? <laughs> oh, wait a second. Oh, oh, I'm not fading fast. No, oh, I think we're oh, losing oh, him. There it is. Robert. <laughs> <laughs> gag city. Oh, oh, oh my God! Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> I don't know. Hi, Howard. How are you? How are you, babe? I'm oh, just fine. God, you sound cute this morning. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about you lately. Really? I bet you have. <laughs> have you been thinking about him? Um, only, only slightly. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> no, no, I do like you, Howard. You seem like a really sweet person. Yeah. You're down deep. You are cute. I swear uh, to God. You know what I've been thinking about? Remember how I had my hand. Howard. Remember I had my hand around your waist? Uh-huh. And I felt the firmness of your stomach? Uh-huh. There was not like one bit of fat on there. Nope. That's why I like performing live, especially when my wife isn't there. My wife doesn't seem to mind if I like just hug girls and stuff. I tell her it's just for bits. Very interesting. Uh -huh. But it's like uh, I foreplay to death with all these girls and I never get to uh, consummate the act, Robin. <laughs> That's why you have a prostate problem. I know. None of you girls consummate with me. <laughs> you would consummate with me, wouldn't you? Oh, I don't know if my boyfriend would like that idea. Mm. I heard your boyfriend was very proud of the fact that you became prom queen. Yeah, he was rather amused. He was like running around Club Benet, like <laughs> screaming out, this is, this is my girlfriend! <laughs> and he was proud that you took your top down in front of everyone? Yeah, well, that is what I do for a living. Weren't you embarrassed, though, when you, like, pulled your shirt down and your breasts were completely exposed? Oh, no, I've played, I've played harder crowds. Oh, let really? me tell you something. <laughs> that was, like, unbelievable. I swear to God, oh. You know, I should have really given really you like a, I should have given you a hundred bucks. You probably would have taken it all off. Oh, I would not have. No, I don't do that. She has, uh, she's an artist, Howard. Yeah, but she's a stripper, though, isn't she? No. That's an art. Just topless, just topless. Just topless. Mm. <laughs> so do you really have a picture of me with my top off in the Yeah, office? I do. You really do? Yeah, and I look oh, at it a lot. I close with my eyes when I think about that diamond in your nose. Yep, yep. You still got that? I still do. It's Is that like a pierced nose? Do you have a pierced nose? Yeah. Do boogers get caught in that? Oh! Please. What happens if you blow your nose? Does anything ever come out of the top of the nose? It's so like a whale. <laughs> it's like a it's a blow spout. It's a blow hole. Blow hole she's got. Does that ever happen? Really? No. And when I blow smoke out of my nose, when I smoke, that doesn't happen. Doesn't happen either. Really? <laughs> you have such a young, tight body. <laughs> Now the dancing keeps you in shape, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Mm, man, because she wore this like really low cut. It was a V back that opened all the way to the waist. Yeah, and she was. You weren't even wearing panties, were you? Of course not. 
Because when I spanked her, who wears those? Oh, <laughs> I could tell you were getting like kind of you were getting off on me. I spanking you, <laughs> weren't you? Yeah, I was just loving it. How you have really strong hands? And my hand like covered your entire buttocks. <laughs> Just a small yes. little... Yes. Little well, you said you had uh, done that kind of thing before. You've been spanked Actually, before. I haven't. I did say that, but no, I haven't. Oh, you haven't. Uh, did it, was there some arousal going on there? <laughs> Being spanked in front of like 600 well, I, people? I was bent over Howard Stern's knee. What an exciting moment of my life. Yeah. Oh, man, I wanted it so bad. And then during the dry hum contest, I uh, got some off of her. Oh, you did? Oh, yeah. I dry humped her. Did oh, you dig that? Please. How could you do that? She comes up to about your waist. <laughs> Let me tell you something, Robin. She was hot. She was dripping gravy all over the stage. Oh, oh, that's oh, wow. not nice. That's all right, not take true it easy. Either. The bananas stuck a few steaks under there. <laughs> Those wonderful banana steaks. Mm. So how are you going to give me uh, pool passes? You have to send us some pool passes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, mm. yeah. Hey, maybe we should get together now that you're prom queen. Oh yeah, it's, you know what an exciting moment. I could give you the scepter. <laughs> Uh-huh. You know, I've, I've been thinking about you a lot, really. Oh, I'm so happy that you have, really. Because, Robin, you know that I have to oh, fantasize you. about... Now, I don't know that you have to do anything, Howard. Yeah, well, you know about my perverted <laughs> sex life. But, you know, I fantasize about different girls. I've been thinking about her waist, believe it or not. Yeah, he's got your waist and somebody else's other body parts. Yeah. But you have the best waist. You have the best waist. Okay, okay. What are you wearing right now? Are you sleeping? Uh, yeah, I'm wearing a Mickey Mouse Club t-shirt. Now, where's your hair now? Oh, it's just kind of looking like it does in the morning, kind of just... Because the sides of her head are shaved. Shaved, and then she has this, like... Mohawk thing, in the mohawk middle. Mohawk right down the middle, yeah. And it goes all the way to her nose. <laughs> <laughs> well, if I don't put it up, it doesn't look like... Much. I think you just combed your nasal hair backwards. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was. That's what it really was. I don't like your hair that much. You don't like my hair? Well, if you, if you saw it down, you'd like it. Really? I thought if I didn't put it up, because it just looks like a regular haircut. Oh, really? Almost. Mm. So what do you do? You dance topless what's, for a living? What's your uh, outfit like when you work? When I work? Uh -huh. Yeah, what do you wear? Well, um, I have this one outfit that's made of, like, little ostrich feathers. Uh -huh. mm. it's, all my outfits are black. I wear my oh, is that why you call yourself Raven? Uh, yeah. Dig it. The age name that I use. Hey, maybe we'll ha you know, we're going to be at Club Binet on the 17th. I might, uh... Have you come out and perform? <laughs> you could be our opening act. Yeah. You could be our opening act. That what do you charge? Great. No, no, I don't do that. Really. Why? What do you charge? I don't do private parties. Just club this is not a private party. No, I'm talking party. about a, a Club Binet. It's not like a regular topless club, though, and you know it. Big I deal. I'll have to think about it. Call me back when we're not on the air. <laughs> How much money do you charge for something like that? Uh, it depends. It depends. Usually clubs pay you about, like, 60 or 70 but you make all your money on tips. What'd you say? Tips, uh, don't cross on red. Tips, what? <laughs> no, hey, if I tips. give you, uh, I'll give you like a uh, hundred bucks for the evening. No, no, Howard, I couldn't do that. Now, Raven, what do you mean, this no, is no. not something okay, just to right, turn I'll, down I'll on the spirit of the moment. How about humping piano stools? <laughs> How much do you charge for that? No, Howard, no, 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 no. You never do that? <laughs> yeah, right. Not in this lifetime. Hey, you know, I forgot to bless you for the uh, coronation ceremony. Yes. Come over here and, yes. and, uh, and get on your knees and I'll bless you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I just bet you would, wouldn't you? <laughs> of course I would. <laughs> you are so cute. Your voice is even cute. Okay. That little giggle. <laughs> hey, how much would you charge to hide a fire hydrant? Howard! Let's retain some dignity, please. Yes, oh, I mean, yeah. after all, you're talking to a dancer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Gwen <laughs> Verdun. Dancer. Right. No, but seriously, if no, you... No, where do you expect to go from here, from, uh... Prom, this from prom queen to what? What are you going to do now? I don't know. I'm I'm looking forward to the Miss America pageant. <laughs> yeah. I don't think I'm tall enough for that actually. Well, now that you're into a whole pageant thing, yeah. that uh, you could probably go on to that. Yeah, I'm sure. So you were. Uh, I can't pay you enough money to hire a uh, fire yeah. hydrant, huh? Oh. <laughs> Let's hold on. How are you guys doing? I'm busy. Hush, <laughs> oh, she's busy. That's what she said. Oh, oh God! Yeah, I gotta talk. <laughs> Get off. Oh, so oh, oh, no. <laughs> wow, this is unbelievable. Keep going. Oh, Don't man. stop on our account. Not bad. Why not? <laughs> what is he doing? I want to know. What is he doing? <laughs> what is he doing, Robin? I don't know.
<laughs> Robin, can we do this on the air? Is this legal? Who cares? Legal schmiegel. I'm getting off on it. We'll tell him. He was killing her. We were killing her. Lauren, tell him to take the call. All right. I'll be back to you two in a minute. i got to talk to number three. <laughs> Keep going. <laughs> Our listeners are so nuts. Oh, boy. Now, you're a sexual expert. Just what was going on there? I don't know. I really have no idea. Yeah? I have no idea what was going on. I think he was strapping something on. No. Because she said, no, not that. <laughs> Unless he's huge. <laughs> no, not that. But then we went back to them, and then she was really going at it. Well, she's kind of stopped, and then we said we offered her some tickets. Yeah, to what? Uh, we Joe gave her Joe Jackson, Jackson tickets. Yeah. It's pretty decent. She said, okay, we'll get it back on again. Let me just check in with number two. Number two, are you doing anything? Oh, we just started. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Honey, stop. Hello? No, keep going. No, we want to hear the results first, then I'll scream. Well, she hasn't given the results yet. Yeah, and I want you guys to be into it no matter what happens. No, I will have to talk loud. Okay. <laughs> Is it going to be number one? Number two. Number two. Or number three. Or number three. I think that they're all really wonderful and the women all sound really cute, but it's got to be number three. Number three. It's number three. Number two? Uh, what? <laughs> Hello? Number two? Yeah. Go back to what you were doing. <laughs> hey. Say goodbye. What? I say goodbye. Goodbye? goodbye? Hey, listen, I'll give you Joe Jackson tickets if you guys keep going. <laughs> uh, we'll take them, and yes, we'll keep going. Keep Don't going. Hang up. Don't, Don't hang, hang up. up. We'll see you soon. All right, we'll hold on. Hold on, honey. Oh. Uh. Cope is going to play a record. Record schmecker. This is going to get ratings. <laughs> Keep going. I, I smell Joe Jackson tickets. Oh, is that what you smell? <laughs> I smell a tuna fish factory. <laughs> what? <laughs> What'd she say? Harder and deeper. Harder and deeper? All right. Anyway, this lovely couple wins Joe Jackson tickets. Gary, where will they be going? Radio City Musical. Radio. Radio. Radio, Yo. radio, radio city music hall. Joe Jackson. <laughs> and uh, what is that? A K Rock anniversary show, Gary? Oh uh, no, just a concert. Just a concert? I thought it was a K Rock anniversary show. No, he's just yeah, helping yeah, us yeah. to celebrate. Oh, he's helping us to celebrate. Yes. What the hell does that mean? By adding another concert. Yeah. Concert schmancer. Let's get back to Joanna. <laughs> well, you win, Joanna. Hello? You win uh, concert That's tickets. Joanna. Oh, I mean, concert yeah, time. concert Dang. tickets. Hello. All right. Uh, we'll put you on hold. Okay. <laughs> Even doing this during Cope Show, he's going to get all the ratings. <laughs> <laughs> that big schmuck's ratings are going to be up. It's because of me. Really? Obviously concerned about the ratings, as usual. Yes. Do you think that was real? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I do. I don't mean, do you think it was a real, that they were really doing something, but do you think that was a real orgasm? Well, I was going to ask you, have you ever sounded like that in your entire life? Can't no. imagine. <laughs> I'd still be around. Robin White Women's Ashes. Yeah, Robin White Women's Ashes. It led. How do you spell that? Yeah. E. All right. Yeah. 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 That's how you spell it. Yeah. You're dead. How do you spell that? How do you spell that, baby? What the hell? You went to college. You must have... Yeah. Fabulous Thunderbird. I smell Joe Jackson tickets. Oh, is that what you smell? <laughs> there you go. Yeah, this is the guy who was in the kitchen taking off his pants, as a matter yeah, of fact. Oh, good. This is great. <laughs> Here's the guy who pulled his pants down around his ankles. Yeah. He's supposed to be protecting us. And in the background, you hear what we were doing. In case you're just waking up, we spent the last hour explaining what happened to us last night. We were out partying with uh, Dee Snyder and Twisted Sister last night. Almost got into a fight. And we got up and sang, hang on, Sloopy. I got fast in the head with... Oh, here he is. Hey. Snyder. You are a nut. I swear to God. 
Now, wait Hold a second. on. Sit wait down. a minute. Get on mic. And where's your bodyguard? We got to talk to him about pulling down his pants and stuff. Come on out. Come on over here, man. You know who we were fighting with last night? No, who? Members of Six Six Sputnik. We Are you realize. kidding? That's who that was? That was some members of Six Six Sputnik. You yeah. know that for sure? Oh yeah, I know for sure. They got run out of the place, by the way. After you left, it got a little wilder. Really? Yeah. Six Six Sputnik <laughs> is a uh, new rock, rock band. band. Yeah. It's like one of the biggest bands here in England right now. What's going on? Those aren't on? No, can you turn these on? Here, relax a minute. Here, calm down. You know, we're going to be here for a while. You know, there's no problems with the party the night before. The minute you get there, it's like a big fight break sound. (laughs) uh, Food's flying. I mean, man. I just spent the first hour of the show talking about how I admire you so much, D. (laughs) I'll be honest. Let me say something here, Robin. When D and I first met at the David Letterman show. Yeah. And D came up and I said, oh, Jesus. What do I got to be talking about? What do I get? Well, I mean, D. Snyder. I wanted, That's what he said. I wanted Mick Jagger. I'll be honest with you, D. I wanted Mick Jagger as a friend. I wanted anybody but you as a friend. And now, all I want as a friend is you. Yeah. Because, let me tell you something. Twist the you sister. are beautiful. They know how to party. I mean that. I do. I, they know how to party. Oh, yeah. And D, you know, when D was in here the other day saying that he got arrested once for beating a guy with a tire iron. I said, oh, he's so full of it, man. Yeah, it's just a story he made up. When you last night went flying, <laughs> and let me say what a professional you are. Did you, I the was man, in the, He didn't do it in the middle of the song. He no, he the didn't break. stop singing. <laughs> no, of course. He, he waited for the music break. He flies, never mind the bodyguards, <laughs> never mind the, the high-priced bodyguards. D flies over <laughs> two tables. Lands and in, a railing. Yes. Lands on a railing, and uh, Frank's wife's, your crotch was in Frank's wife's face, face, by the way, yeah. right there. <laughs> was that your face? <laughs> it was wonderful. I really enjoyed it. How was uh, Dee's crotch? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you think there's toilet paper stuff in that crotch, or is that the real thing? <laughs> she knows when she sees it. It's a C cup, folks. Yeah, for sure. So when D got up in the middle of the song, in the middle of a blues number, flew over and grabbed the guys from Six Six, Six Sputnik, yeah. Sputnik, Six Six yeah. Sputnik yeah. and started shaking them and knocking them onto the floor. <laughs> I gotta say, man, you're my hero. Yeah. Dee, the way you protected me, I swear to God, I felt like I was your woman last night. <laughs> it was so beautiful. It was gorgeous. A lot of the listeners have expressed that uh, they thought I was a wussy last night because I didn't jump in and behind you and fight. But let me just say something. Someone had to stay on stage and really keep things together. No, you were behind me all the time, Howard. I was. Way he behind was you. behind me. He was, he was watching my back. We were against the wall. All was right. it nutty last night or what? How about when we first started dancing with that accordion player? Oh, man. He was, he was brilliant. We should bring him. Where is he? He should be here today. He's not here. We already played the tape. Hey, play D some of the tape of the... I didn't realize the talent that you... Oh. I didn't... I gotta play the tape in a few minutes of us doing leader of the pack. It's the funniest thing you ever heard. <laughs> Not you, me. That. Oh man. Well, you know, who's someone is that Gary who gave you the words? Yeah. It's brilliant. Where do you learn English? <laughs> Evelyn Wood. I mean, unbelievable. Wrote him out Gary, nice, nice job on the words, yeah. But Dean, let's talk to your bodyguard. Never mind you this Go morning. Ahead. Go let's ahead. Yeah. Where were you? Let's back up. In the middle of a fight, I have to start singing to get you guys up there. You had your pants wrapped around your ankles. And just because you're a black guy and you have big meat. What was going on in that kitchen? And what, why, did you run, why did you run in the kitchen to show your penis to uh, waiters? What the hell is going on? It wasn't in the kitchen. Where, where were you? I stood on the bar. You, you were on the, it. You were standing on the you bar? You stood on the bar and yeah. took your pants down? Yeah. He did? I did. He did. Oh, did anybody dear. see his penis? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Gary, what is Gary it? again. Gary. I'm, uh, like every time I go somewhere, I see famous people's penises. <laughs> <laughs> you saw Dee's bodyguard's penis? <laughs> well, what, what happened was he started telling me this story about how when he was in Japan, it got real hot, and Dee and the whole band said, oh, it's real hot in here, and started putting out money. Yeah. To get New Zealand. And he ran New naked Zealand. in the middle New of Zealand. this live uh, interview. New Zealand. Yeah, in New, New Zealand. Zealand. Right. New Zealand. Yeah. So, uh, so all of a sudden, one of the guys said, 
it's getting hot in here. <laughs> and they, they whipped out some money, so I threw 10 pounds in myself. Yeah. And, uh, we only throw in a pound each. He's whipping 10, 10 20 pounds. pounds. 10, 10 pounds, yeah. Robin, that was for you, you, by the way. Black <laughs> man's penis. I mean, Gary loves penis. Way. He I does. Mean, 41 <laughs> pounds. 41 pounds, you made? Yeah. And did you... Uh, excuse me. <laughs> did you, did you, did you get, actually see his penis? Well, what happened was he went in the back and he started to get addressed. He goes, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. And then came back, we threw him a few more pounds, and he's like, no, 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 I'm not going to do it. Then we threw him a few more pounds, and he got on the bar, wearing a, it's the same pants, those little red pants with no zipper. Little little red pants. Pants. You got to change your pants. <laughs> he just yanked him on down. Beautiful. Ah. <laughs> but I thought he was wearing underwear under there. Everything came off. It did. Everything. Everything. How many inches? Like a Clydesdale. Oh, no. I'll be honest with you though. If I had like a real, I gotta admit, I did my it in penis. The airport too. You did it in the airport? Yeah, walking to the plane with my pants down. Yeah. <laughs> While you were with D? Yeah. He you won't know. be doing it anymore though. You know? Why? What I think happened? he's a terrorist. We retired. Yeah, really, because I'm they have tired. to. You know what they have to do? They have to inspect that <laughs> weapon. That's right. <laughs> they inspect the weapon. I mean, that thing is a lethal weapon. But you can't bring your weapon on a plane. Oh, he's tired. They had to X-ray that thing. <laughs> You have to carry that in bags. Cavity so search. Right? Cavity yeah, search. Sure. <laughs> but anyway, it was such a nutty night last night. I didn't really get to see your penis. I'm sorry I didn't. <laughs> we were busy fighting. Yeah, we were busy fighting. What you should have been doing. Yes. Did you think there was going to be like World War III in that pub last night? Oh, forget it. I always said that our security we have is not to protect the, the pe us from the people, but to protect the people from us. Yeah, for sure. Because you well, are I was dangerous. there. I was there. I was there. I was ready to do battle, but they really? backed down. See, I, I really seriously thought that you... I didn't know you were this macho. I swear to God. <laughs> I've got macho oozing out all everywhere, man. No, because, I'm you know, so... you would think... You know, Dee's making... A, Dee, you're a millionaire now. And seriously, you'd think Dee would be like a little bit nervous yeah, about hurting himself. about this? He doesn't care. It's like he just threw himself into the crowd and started beating up the guys from Ziggy Ziggy uh, Zig Zig Sputnik. Zig Zig Sputnik. I was having Asbury Park flashbacks, Howard. You know, from my days working in the bars, and if you've worked the bars in Asbury Park, then you know about getting into fights and rumbling every night. Anybody, some people Asbury Park, they know what it's like down there. It's tough. Those, you know, Labor Day weekend, you know, everybody's had a few too many, and, you know, tortilla chips start flying. Yeah. You know, what <laughs> was, I mean, that's what was happening last night, yeah. you know? You know what was weird, D? I thought you were showing off for me, and I thought, like, wow, D really loves me. <laughs> well, I mean, he really, Howard, he really wants to show me what a party animal I, it was he is. instinct. Instinct took over, you know? My bodyguard, he had his pants down around his ankles. <laughs> yeah. I couldn't wait for him to come stumbling over. Hey, let me just say, last night during Robin the fight... Robin was good for nothing. She's just <laughs> wait looking a minute, at... Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. staring at his penis. No, 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 no. And so Robin did flip the guy the bird. I was taking care of things until you, you got there. Oh, you flipped him the bird? Sure. Oh, okay, good. Robin was pretty brave. <laughs> but uh, me, I am the biggest wuss because I get up on stage. Do you, do you want to hear the part where I'm singing that blues number and I call oh, for the bodyguards? I said I start singing, there's a black guy who's going to kick your ass if you don't leave me alone. <laughs> no, I heard you. Oh, Very you heard loudly. So it got louder and louder until he finally came over. And then you I, guys came over. And then didn't you like beat up some of those guys from Zig Zig Sputnik? No. Can you put his mic up louder? Yeah, a little louder on the mic. Once you get close to the mic, yeah, they wouldn't go for it. They wouldn't go for they it. They wouldn't fight. We tried. Oh, they were big time wars. They were nothing. I bet him one pound that uh, the four of them wouldn't last with me for five minutes. They wouldn't go for it. Mm. Beautiful. But they did offer 20 pounds for him to take his pants off again. <laughs> so, they weren't totally without any dignity at all. You know? <laughs> the guys from Twisted Sister really know how to party. Oh, I swear yeah. to God, it's beautiful. Well, you were getting very really tough as, the, as soon as our two bodyguards and yeah. me and Adam were in front of you. You were like out of control. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We had to hold you back. That's not... I wanted to get in there and fight. I'm oh. just a professional. No, I was he ought to listen to this. I mean, because he really did. Get no, bold. he did. When yeah. the four yeah. of us were in front of him, he was let me out. He was, was screaming. But let me say something. Place. One thing about D, and this impressed me more he than anything. He was indignant. Anything. That was indignant <laughs> yeah, that we had blocked his, his path word. between him and combat <laughs> with his with Zig Zig Sputnik. He's communist, possibly communist. But seriously, think. a big round of applause for D when he jumped into the crowd and started fighting. <laughs> and even more impressive. The man timed it so that he was back up on stage, and he gets back up on stage and starts singing about the guys he just beat up. Yeah. That was incredible. Asbury Park flashback. Do you remember any of this from last night? Oh, I remember. It clear. You know, I'm, I'm clean. I'm straight. You I know, know you I are. kicked the heroin years ago, so <laughs> I remember everything. This is not like a Sid Vicious syndrome here, you know. Because I thought I lost you, and I'd have to carry the ball myself. But, man, D just beat the crap out of the guy and then jumped back up on stage and was there for the, there for the refrain. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. You got some of that, Fred? <laughs> All right, roll it. Commentary. Here we go. Commentary. Howard Boyd's got 
nothing. We're Mudge got nothing. We're Roger Mudge. All right, now we're getting real nervous. I'm real nervous. At this point, I'm real nervous because I think Dee's as big a wuss as I am. Right, and Dee goes flying off. He goes, wait a minute, yeah. Dee. Now, during this musical break, Dee literally leaps in like Superman and starts beating up these guys. It grows. It's the legend is growing. The legend. How <laughs> oh, are you still singing now? Tell you when you jump into the crowd. This is Wayne. Yeah. Where's Wayne? Wayne's back there. Good job, Wayne. Good job, Wayne. Wayne's, Wayne's a bigger wussy than I am. Now he's calling for the bodyguard. Where is our black crowd? Where is our black bodyguard? He's going to come over and keep your hands in my shuttle. Shuttle is a crutch. Yeah, right. right. Well, we had to get him up there. Yeah. Hey, it's the blues. I was feeling the black and blues last night. Yeah, I feel, I feel. Yeah. The knife coming back. Yeah. Enchiladas yeah. in the air. I love yeah. the exciting. The guns, the guns on the wall. I think that's implied. The violence was implied the minute we walked in. The guns on the wall. Do you yeah. remember those? The whips, yeah. the chains. This place we were in had a whole bunch of guns on the wall, and these yes. starts climbing around with the guns and putting them up. You were very nervous. Yeah, I was You're nervous. You were very nervous, too. Those guns could have been loaded. I held myself hostage for five minutes. Uh, <laughs> Dee, yeah, I was brutal. you forced yourself into a corner. I forced myself to sit down. <laughs> Somebody had to. Dee doesn't put a lampshade on his head when you party with him. He takes a gun and, and sticks, sticks it up, up his, his nose, nose. for plenty of room for laughs. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I didn't want you pointing the gun at my nose. I was afraid you'd lose it up there. <laughs> and then they'd make us pay for it. Did you guys ever pay your bill last night? I didn't. I just somebody walked out. Did. I don't know. Someone I think it? somebody did. I'm not sure. I don't know sure I paid the bill. Somebody, I hope out? somebody did. Yeah. I thought it was AJ. And then, you know, then I'm looking for skirts, you know, so immediately. Oh, the next thing. Next thing. That was pretty oh, nuts. You know, it was awful. I'm confident. I used my band basic. Like, yeah. immediately, you know. So you got under the dome. I'm confident. <laughs> right, the dome, the pump. You know, I don't want to destroy the atmosphere here. Right. Absolutely. But I must say, D, when Howard says he fell in love with you last night, he's not kidding. He's like a, because all the way back when we were in the car on yeah. the way to the hotel, yeah. he's talking about how good looking you are now. I got cute. Yeah. yeah. You got good looking. Yeah. You grow on people. After you like fight for somebody, that's you say, right. I don't have this with women too all the time. Yeah, I thought know? I owed you something, D. <laughs> yeah. I thought well, I owed you sexual fine. favors. You don't have to reciprocate. <laughs> it's all right. Spend time in your room with yourself. <laughs> Write my name on your hand. I know I must really <laughs> miss Write my... D on your knuckles. <laughs> I just know I really must miss my wife when I start fantasizing, when I roll my pants down around my legs and I'm thinking about Dee Snyder and being in bed with him. I know it's time to get home to my wife and my kids. That was pretty intense. Yeah. Man, oh. what a night that was, wasn't it? Ooh, I'll never be forgotten. It'll go down in the anus of history, I think. <laughs> I swear I know how to party. I really do. No, you do. You do. I do. You I'm do. How about when we were dancing I mean, I together? Gotta when you guys started doing the bump. Yeah, well, Come yeah, but on. I gotta say that, like, we had a party the night before. Yeah. And there were no fights. Yeah. So, I mean, Howard yeah. Yeah, instigated the violence. Oh, for sure, there was I know violence that. in the air the minute he walked in. Hey, but let's give a special hand to Robin for flipping the finger That's to right. that guy. I started it. All right. <laughs> me, 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 me. <laughs> what is it? Hold it, I'll give you some reverb. Test one. One, two. How's that? You like that? Ready? That's Fred on guitar. He's doing a good job. I didn't even think he could play that. Okay, here we go. John and Mitchie were getting kind of itchy just to leave the folk music behind. Saul and Denny working for a penny, trying to get a fish on the line. In a coffee house, Sebastian sat, and every every number they passed the hat. McQueen and McGuire just are getting higher in L.A., you know where that's at. And no one's getting fat except Mama Cass. I wish I was in tune. <laughs> I know. Dolly and Benny, you know there ain't many. We sing a song the way that you do. Let's go south. Kenny says, Dolly, Dolly, don't you think that I wish I could play guitar like you? Whoa. So Denny and Sebastian sat. Every number they passed the high. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh. And then the choir just are getting higher. And that way you know where that's at. No one's getting fat except Mama Cass. Hey, I'm decent. <laughs> Michelle, you can really sing. I like this. 
When Cash was a sophomore, not a swath more, but she changed her mind one day. Standing on the turnpike, thumb out to hitchhike, take her to the yard right away. When Danny met Cash, he gave her love bumps, called John and Zoll, and that was the mug once. McGuinn and McGuire couldn't get no higher, but that's what they were aiming at. No one's getting fat except Mama Cass. Does that sound good? You think that sounded good? Uh-huh. That's like a new Mama's and Papa thing. <laughs> what do you think? You're on the road? Are we happening? <laughs> What's the next verse? Want to do one more uh, verse? All right. Mug Mugwumps. Okay. Mugwumps, high jumps, slow Mugwumps, slumps, big, big bumps. Don't, don't you work as hard as you play? Make up, break up, everything is shake up. Guess it had to be that way. Sebastian's all from the spoonful Michelle, John, and Danny Getting very tuneful McGuinn and McGuire Just been catching fire in L.A. You know where that's at And everybody's getting fat Except Mama Cass Should we do the last one? Broke and busted The stages can't be trusted And Mitch, wants to go on the scene Cass can't make it She says he'll have to fake it We knew she'd come eventually The reason on a marriage Express card Tense low rent For keeping up the heat's hard Duff is good vibration And our imaginations Can't go indefinitely And California dreaming's Becoming a reality Yeah, yeah Hey, I bet you uh, Jane Pauly didn't do that with you. <laughs> now, they don't know how to g- keep the excitement up on a show like this. No, you know? for a black man, Brian Gumbel can't sing. I wonder how many people are listening now. Yeah, really. I'm sure everyone is tuned in <laughs> and very anxious to hear more music, but we'll just tease them with that one song. But um, I want to thank Michelle Phillips. Yes, you've the, been wonderful. Yeah, you've thank been great. You thank you've you, been Robin. very decent to us, and we appreciate oh, I've that. i had a very good time. Really good time. Thanks a lot. And, and I'm uh, sorry I said the S word. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. Hey, listen, you know, you're... I'm sure uh, they've heard worse on this show. You're on the cutting edge. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, let's mention the title of the book again. California Dreamin'. Yeah. Is the name of the book. It's by Michelle Phillips. The story of the mamas and the papas. And, uh, Robin, I want to compliment you on some of those questions you asked. Oh, thank you, mm-hmm. Robin. I, I studied before these interviews. <laughs> right, somebody's doing something around thank here. Thank you, Robin. Well, good to meet you, and thanks for uh, coming by. Thank you very okay. much. Bye. Bye. for this? <laughs> hey, you know what I want to know? That really is his message. That's, that sounds like Bruce. Yeah, it is him. All I right. don't know. I got all that stuff. That's why people listen to this show. Hey, seriously, does Bruce listen to me at all? Uh, you know, I don't have a clue. <laughs> have you ever mentioned him? Have you ever mentioned the Howard Stern program? No, I remember somewhere on the tour I was, you know, your name came up. But uh, a couple guys in the band said you were on the radio um, <laughs> saying some really, uh, you know, funny things about Bruce. And uh, everyone was not too sure if... Uh, Bruce should, should know hear. about him. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. So I, I don't know if he ever... Uh, I think if maybe he heard you, he would have rushed over. But I don't, th- I don't know that Bruce would like my show because he's like really into helping people and stuff. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Bruce, real, he's as sensitive as he seems to be. Yeah, he's also uh, as strong as he seems to be. I mean, oh really? His very, muscles? Really? I mean, well, I mean, he's he's really gotten strong physically now, but uh, that's in the last four years he's been working out really hard. But he's always been very emotionally strong. Are you now into working out too? I bet you everyone's not getting into it. No, I <clears throat> get into it and out of it. I was really in great shape for about a year on tour, and then I started. I made you look an, good. I made an album of my own, and all of a sudden I had two jobs, and and so I. Started, you look good, man. Well, you really do. Because I shaved last night. Hey, no, you look good. I swear to God. Thanks. Hey, where are you performing? You're doing a show tonight. Well, we're doing two shows at the Lone Star Cafe, <clears throat> 10, oh, yeah? 15 and 12, 15. Oh, man. Um, let me tell you something. When Nils is is um, unburdened from being at Bruce Springsteen's side, <laughs> when Nils is on his own, this is when you see the real Nils Lofgren. When Nils is at the front. Yeah, when he's not, you just have to sit there and kiss Bruce's asshole. <laughs> Get up and do his own thing. <laughs> 
Mills was even telling me he's much more talented than Bruce. <laughs> and it's true. I believe that. Well, I, I still think I'm, I'm the at least the first uh, living guitar player to do a backflip off a mini tramp while playing my guitar. Oh, That's right. right. Hendrix couldn't right. even approach that. Because you were like a gymnast or something, weren't you? When I was a kid, yeah. I was a high bar and parallel bar champion, so I learned a little trampoline and stuck it into the act. Because Bruce is jealous of you. Where? <laughs> <laughs> Is, are you going to be doing that at the Lone Star? Uh, no, they wouldn't raise the ceiling, so we had to leave the tramp in the truck. <laughs> no kidding. Oh. Yeah. oh, those babies. Yeah, it's, you know, we asked, but they'd turn Seriously, if you people want to see a great show, you've got to go see Neil Slofgren. All right. The man is happening. Yeah, come on down. It'd be good. No, seriously, that's why Bruce has him in the band, because he's so happening. Yeah. He's going to put some schlub in there, is he? He's going to put some schmo in there. Oh, you must be rolling in dough now. Bruce must pay really well. If he's giving all that money to the homeless, he must be giving you guys like a ton of money. Well, uh, I've spent so much time playing with my own bands, and because of my, uh, well, for whatever reasons, mainly not ever a real hit record, it costs, it costs a lot of money to play with a band. And the only time yes. I've really gotten, uh, only time I've really made money when I've toured in the last 15 years has been when I've worked with Neil Young and Bruce. They're both very generous and they are? Fa fair people. Yeah. That's beautiful. Despite what people say. My, been... my, hey. Yeah, yeah. Well, you, Neil's oh, new album, yeah. do you have that? No. Really? Is it good? I like that it's, album he does, the, uh, what's that called? Trent. Trans? Trans. Trans. Trans? I love that album. I love Neil Young. Yeah, me too. Well, his new album's, I think, one of the best things he's ever done his whole career. Yeah. It's like uh, the Led Zeppelin of the 90s sound with his really? songs. Yeah, he's good. He's great. Hey, let's uh, talk about when he was with Carrie Snodgrass. <laughs> oh, please. That's hey, nice. Carrie's a, she's a nice girl. Yeah, I know. They had some funny stories. And they got a nice kid. They do? Zeke. Zeke. Mm -hmm. Zeke Young. There was a man who had his head cut off. Oh, no, no, no. I can't even sing to this. This is too good. <laughs> let's do, come on, let's do, let's do, um... What? Let's do Mississippi Queen, me and you. <sighs> and, when, and when I run out of words, you do it. Or no. you're sick of playing, let's... Uh... No, come on, it pays the bills. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> Mississippi Queen You know what I Oh no, Howard Boy he doesn't even know the song I know I do Wait a second Mississippi Queen You know what I mean Yeah do it Mississippi Queen Mississippi Queen On the downbeat Howard She taught, taught me everything, everything. Way down, down around Vicksburg Called the Mississippi Queen. You know she was a dancer. Yeah. Who bet on wine? Do it. While the resident dude is making him bread. Oh. The bigger part I was getting mad. Woo. Woo. Mississippi Queen. A 
Okay, that's enough. Oh, oh man. That was beautiful. Oh, man. A little slow, but... Uh, no, I like yeah. that. That was like a... a, a, a it was a new version a new of version, it. new version, yeah. You ought to release that. Late, well... Just you a solo thing. You can release your own song. Yeah, sure you do. Yes, you can. So you can update. This is his own taste. Sting does that. <laughs> oh, yeah. He goes up and he... He bought credibility. Let's let's be honest. He went he out and got great musicians, jazz musicians. Yeah. To me, that's a little, you know... You gotta do another song. I swear to God. I'm really digging it. Okay. Please. You don't mind, do you? No. Come on. There's millions of people listening. The millions? You yeah. hope. <laughs> I In hope. my dreams. That's all right, Howard. I'll tell you what. They ain't listening to AM. Yeah, because... Homo rock, right? Yeah, Homo right. station. Oh, bastards! Don't you see I'm kicking your ass right now? I got Leslie West on here playing music. <laughs> he would have never come on that other stage. He never would have come on AM radio, you I idiots. Because you know why? Because dicks. This guitar without the stereo... Would blow. Oh. So that's why you don't do TV. You know right. why? Because you're coming out of a little tiny speaker. Now a lot of people don't understand why I'm not on television. I, I could have been on television years ago. But you don't want to come out of that little tiny speaker. Those little tiny speakers suck! Howard, I really got to say this. Even though you're dying to get on TV, yeah. you own this. I own this. Why do we want to do everything we're not? Right? Hey, wait a second. I want to be, be a lawyer. <laughs> you could be a lawyer. No. No way. You could, could be my school. lawyer. I quit school in the 10th grade. Did you really? You, you know something? I swear to God, I was watching you play that guitar. God blessed you. Yeah. I, he did. You're I'm a very, genius. I'm very lucky. I don't know how the hell you do what you That's, just did. You can tell when the music is in the man. It's yeah. like eight guys playing there, except it was one guy. Well... Screw Eddie Van Halen. You're better than him. No, I've learned a lot from him, let me tell you. I, pay, I heard a little... Uh, you're the master. You're the master. Eddie's good. Eddie learned from you. Well, he, he told me... Of course he did. He plays a couple of them. I couldn't believe it. <sighs> I grew up on uh, Clapton and Hendrix. That's right. And these guys grew up on... You. Well, thank you. Yeah. The thing is, though, everybody's got to have a hero, right? Yeah. That's right. You're Everybody. my hero. I wondered why Grand Funk... You're my mountain man. Why did Grand Funk make it? it? Why did well, Grand Funk make it? Because <laughs> Terry Knight, their manager, bought the billboard in Times Square for 100 grand for one month. And I looked at it and I said, who the hell is this? <laughs> there you I go. Must, I got to get this album. They sold out <laughs> Shea Stadium from a billboard. Give me that billboard. I'm telling you, one month of action in Times Square was right that big Gahuna one. Do another song. Uh, Please, anything you want. Uh, how about a little remnant? Uh, <laughs> That's one of my favorite songs, Joe Walsh's song, Life in a Yeah, Fast but wait a second, though. I want you to do your song. Uh. Yeah, that's it. Never in my life. He knows. Oh, yeah, I know all this stuff, man. Check this out, Robin. Never in my life. Yeah! Down, I'll just be playing like you and he. I right know. <laughs> oh, it's hey, awesome. what else is there in life but great. guitar chicks? It used to be drugs, but no more food. And food. Yeah. yeah. And I know what you're saying, man. food. That's the new crime. <laughs> yeah. That's right. That's all Bachman's trying to do is eat. Randy, I swear to God, they don't shower after a show. They eat. <laughs> That's right. They're from Canada. They eat. That's why they call him Randy. <laughs> 
But hey, I'll Randy, tell you something. Listen, he's didn't right. Martin Luther King say that? At last, food no. and guitar and drugs at last. <laughs> no, 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 no drugs. <laughs> That's what I was What is it, the 80s movie? I got all the money. Drugs and guitar and drugs. Did you get that at Big Al's? Yeah, I remember. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. Yeah. Believe this or not, do you know that Randy Bachman has 82 Golden Platinum records? God bless Man, him. God it. bless Randy Well, he was in the Guess Who, American Woman, right? Yeah. Are you ever going to, like, revive, like, a band of your own or something? What do you mean revive? They're dead. Yeah, it's true. Felix is dead, but <laughs> yeah. Corky Lang is dead. Like, well, we were in Europe with Deep Purple in 18 countries this past summer. But well, what about you, Corky Lang? That's what I'm talking about. I only started with them about 10 days ago. Corky and I were in Europe. Mountain hadn't played there in 13 years, and uh, Deep Purple hadn't been there in 15. And we played Nuremberg. So let's get you know, a band together. I just did it. What, are you going to go back? You can only get back to Europe once every decade. Yeah, but I'm saying, I mean, let's record an album. Ah. Oh, Howard, whatever you do, listen, your, your cousin Eric. Yeah. They were rehearsing at uh, the studios that we were rehearsing at. And they didn't look so thrilled about doing this. Right. Back. So I said, are you doing this because you want to, or are you doing it for the money? He said, I'm doing it for the money. Oh. He's very honest. Oh, oh, don't tell me that. Yeah, but that's good, though. At least yeah. he's honest. He's yeah. Jewish, like me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, what's your real name? Leslie Weinstein. 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 What are you, a shiksa? No, Weinstein. <laughs> there you go. I know. You know how they spell it, though? The, the guys in uh, Timmy Bachman writes my kit, passes that like W I N E. <laughs> yeah, right. Real guy, I'm real guy. Yeah. <laughs> Weinstein. Come anyway, on. it's 8.59 to 92.3 K-Rock. Let's take a little break. Yeah. Come back. We'll do the news with Leslie West. All right. Get hit, and we also take some phone calls. Yeah. We I want to hear Robin do news. I want to hear Robin do news. Definitely. I want to hear that, too, one of these days. <laughs> All right. WXRK, New York. Well, um, hello there. Uh, my name is Jeff Bergman. Well, actually, my mom used to call me Jeffrey. Of course, that was before I met Meg and had the twins and, and, and Jenny. What's that? Well, lots of people say I sound like uh, the, the actor. Uh, this is all very pleasant, but we came into your Ford dealership and got an escort for our daughter, Jenny. Nothing fancy, just so it goes from here to there. Now, she's got a bow, of course. Um, she wants an escort. I just made that up now. I'm kind of proud of that. Now, Ford Escort is the world's best-selling car, but I'm very interested in your 6.9 APR financing through Ford Credit. Uh, very thoughtful. Or I, what's that? Or I could get $300 cash back from Ford, except on the GT model. Seems fair. Jenny, this is a great country, isn't it? And all we have to do is take one from this man's stock before October 1st. Only one per customer. Sure, the rates may vary, and the dealer contribution may affect your savings, and, but that escorts a honey, and yes, and Jenny is too. But this, she's got this guy in Gary and Anna, and he's... In... Long, long ago, an Iroquois maiden stood high atop a mountain, overcome with sorrow, for her young warrior had been slain. And as the moonlight cast shadows on her heart, tears fell from her eyes, only to be swallowed up by the earth. Year after year, she would appear at each full moon until one night she came no more. In her place, a spring appeared, a spring that flowed as freely as her love. But how the spring came to be known as Great Bear, that is a story for another day. Great Bear Spring Water. We're bringing the legend home to more stores and offices than any other bottled water company. Pure, delicious Great Bear since 1888 and before. Now's the time to get Great Bear Spring Water delivered to your office for hot or cold drinking water installed where it's most convenient. Call toll-free 800-526-5028. Hey. All right, a minute past 9 o'clock at WXRK New York. Our special guest is Leslie West. Yeah. What a pleasure it is, too. Oh, let me put my microphone on. Sorry. Oh, what a pleasure it is, too. Hey. <laughs> hey, Leslie's in here kissing my ass, telling me what a genius I am. I'm not kissing it. I'm <laughs> telling you, you happen to be entertaining. What do you want Thank to tell you? you? All right, no, I'm, I'm appreciating it. A lot of women hate you. Yeah. Because they can't have you. That's is right. that right? They don't know what you look like. They and he's in here telling you. me how Letterman's copping everything of mine. Well, I told you, he's uh, one of a growing list of people who's saying this, Howard. Yeah. That, uh... Letterman's, Letterman's been influenced. Maybe that's licks from this show. Maybe that's why you he hasn't been on in a while, because he doesn't want everybody to see where he's getting his stuff. Oh. No, I think I haven't been on in a while because NBC doesn't want to promote me at all. And yeah, I think they that he finally buckled under pressure. But if I was them, I would promote you because it's money in their pocket. Then You know what I mean? You're still a star, Howard. A star is a star is a star. Hey, let's show Leslie the big article in Penthouse Magazine. Oh, yeah. Don't go out and try and buy right, this. I've got can. a copy of Penthouse Magazine. 
a big article on us. You got to come do our syndicated show too, Leslie. You know Lauren, the girl that does your. Yeah. It'll be a couple of weeks, right, before it comes. Yeah, out. don't go out and try and buy this because uh, it's the cover of. Look how good looking he is. Do I look Robin. good in that picture? Say, hey, Robin, I don't think Where's I look. There's Robin's body here. That's the important feature. No, they, Robin didn't want to show off her breasts. That's too easy. That's an easy. What? If what? you showed your breasts in that picture, that would have been it. You would have won fans from all over the country. That's yeah. right. We did some. And then nude it would have been shots. the Robin and Howard show. <laughs> yeah. We did some nude shots, and Howard said, "No, no, 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 no. That's not going to be public. <laughs> that's only for my eyes." <laughs> but. Uh, you see, that picture in Penthouse Magazine, you said I look good there. I think I look horrible. I said no. he looks wonderful, I doesn't think he? How it is. Isn't he handsome? As you know, I was suffering from fistula, which was a <laughs> opening in my anus. You were sick then. When was this? I was sick during the photography session when this fistula thing was going on. And if you could see it, there's pain in my eyes. You know what's good about it? You're an outrageous son of a gun, but here you look like... He hey. looks vulnerable and yeah, sweet, sweet and innocent. Yes. Mm. Yes, girls. Wait till you see me in Penthouse, girls. <laughs> and the article's pretty damn hey, good, too. Yeah. One of the better articles written about us. That's a great picture, Howard. It is. And I'm sure you love being in Penthouse, of course. Look, he's saying it's a great picture, and he's looking at Lauren Hutton. <laughs> Secret nudes of Lauren Hutton. She's sweaty. I don't like that. You don't want that. Who the hell needs her? You want to create the sweat. You don't want to look at it. <laughs> That's right. But uh, Robin and I went to the photo session for that. Wow. And... Uh, I said to the guy, you have five minutes to take my picture because I am in such pain. Yeah. The pain was in my eyes. Opening them Coke bottles up his tush. Oh. That's it. That's That'll do it. it. Oh, I got to go down to the room. You want to go? You want to go to the Homer room? We haven't been in there in a long time. It might be I pretty dank and All right, I'll dusty take you down, down there. there. You want to play hide the frog? You'd probably win that in a second. I want to hear the harmonizer. How do you do that with your voice? <laughs> right. Bob and Ray. You want to do some Bob and Ray with us? I'm you a groupie be, for this show, man. You could be Bob. We could be Bob and Ray, and we could give Leslie a new name. Yeah, what could his name be? Buffalopkis. No, Bocephus. That's how he could be our special friend, one of our cool friends that we yeah. bring in with us. Yeah, okay. Skunk anus. Let me just see how you sound. <laughs> this girl asked me to kiss her where it stinks, and I took her to Jersey. Oh. <laughs> let me, uh, what is her name? Oh, there it is. Hey, here let, let me hear you, Leslie. Uh, how are you, Howard? Yeah. Now, there's a Damn. man. There's a man in the room with yeah. us today. Yeah. Sounds gay. Yeah, she looks like a gay guy. I am. I mean, so I've no. had a couple of experiences, okay? But I'm no, really a man. Don't ruin the character. <laughs> Listen, just get your voice down, will you, damn all right, it? All right. Who all got right. you this? Here, uh, here. We've got had this uh, since we got to this. That We used to use this in Washington. Is it an even tide? What kind is it? Yeah. It's an even tide. Even tide. I don't want to make it so. Yeah, you could be Louie West. <laughs> Lou, yeah. Yeah, hey, yeah. Lou. Because we don't go what for guys. What you got guys. in the bag, bitch? We don't go for guys named Leslie. Leslie. Leslie's a homo name. Louis it West. Is. I sat next to a girl named Leslie Weinstein in school. Really? For three years. It's got to be pretty damn embarrassing. <laughs> yeah, Why doesn't he... dog. <laughs> All right, wait a second. Why doesn't his voice what? change? Whoa, Why where are we? <laughs> How come yeah. when you put Leslie through that machine, it, it sounds the same? <laughs> wait, do it again. One, two, three. Wait. It's testing. One, two, three. Oh, you sound the same. Well, you get one higher, one lower. we got to do something with you. Get closer to your microphone. All right. Yeah. There, there you now go. Now I sound no. like Howard. Now you're into it. Yeah, now you sound oh, pretty deep. Boy, Gary. Oh, here he is. Listen, for all you girls that don't know, he looks just like John Oates. Yeah, so come here, dickface. <laughs> <laughs> Can you get me a Diet, Diet Coke, Gary? Sure. Diet Coke. <laughs> I, I can't have sugar. He's cutting down. He's cutting right. down. I'm diabetic. Let's drink some water. That's right, that's right. Uh, Wait, what happened with uh, that guy from The Grateful Dead? Is he awake yet? <gasps> you know what? My wife called me the other day. She says, if I see you put another cookie to your mouth, I'll kill you. Jerry Garcia went into yeah. diabetic yeah. shock? Yeah. That's Is fair. he still under? I have no idea. He was I heard that he was getting better, but I really haven't seen Listen, any accounts. They used to put me down years ago when I did all my bad things, you know. Oh, you're drunk. Now they're all. He's been. That's why he's so messed up. I'm you can't do that to yourself. I mean, have you ever seen a heavy guy sixty years old? No. no. You don't see fat old people walking around. I always said when the doctor said, "Leslie, if you don't lose weight, you're going to die," I would do it. So he said it. And now you did it. Thank God. I'm God alive. bless you. God bless you, Leslie West. Honest to God, and I mean that. Yeah, I'm serious, man. All right, we'll take Leslie West down into the homo room. All right. We'll, we'll do Bob and Ray with them. Yeah. We'll do, and we'll also take some phone calls. You want to take a phone call now and then do the news? Okay. Yeah, let's do that. I love these sickos that call in. <laughs> Hi, you're on the air. There you go. It's your people. Hello, you're on the air. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good, dude. Uh, what's going on? Uh, that question for Leslie West? He's here. Yeah. He's listening. He's here. The leg call him the legendary Leslie West. No, just West. call me Bernard Getz. <laughs> Bernard Getz. Uh, he puts out West Tone Guitars? Yeah. Yeah, it's a music shop right around blocks from me. It's all fantastic West Tone Guitars. Thanks very much. You make your own guitars? I don't make them the, the Japanese, though, but it's my uh, name. It's the, it's the Leslie West Tone Guitar? No, just West Tone. See, I've, it, the reason we did that, 
You know, Jimi Hendrix never had a model, right? Jimi Hendrix model, Eric Clapton. The companies feel that if you associate yourself to a model, a certain model, if that model goes out of style, or in film. Yeah, film, oh, that'd be good. Yeah, I would like that a lot. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but television would be just fine. Yeah, I really feel I was born to be on television or something, but yeah. I can't imagine. God is playing, God is yeah. testing me. Are you, are you close to any kind of a film or television deal, Harry? Yeah, very can, close. Yeah. But we got more radio deals going on. You want me to tell you about that? No. Oh. <laughs> No, we'll get, we'll get to the radio deals in a second, but what, what kind of TV deal? Are we talking about some kind of a cable thing? I'm working, no, no, no cable. Dave, when I come on, I'm talking about 1239. I think I'm going to have to go up against you. Oh, Please no. make it the last minute here. Because Dave, Dave doesn't have the guts to tell Johnny Carson this. He's going to work for the Fox Network, and, uh, and he's not even going to tell Johnny about it. He's going to throw a rock through Johnny's window in Malibu. Uh, <laughs> so, what about that Fox Network? Do you think that's going to work out? Uh, I don't know. It'll be interesting to see what happens. I think probably. Johnny's in trouble, Dave. Really? Yeah, I think he is. Based on, on what? Based on the fact that he's been on too long. He's kind of like Imus. He's kind of like been on too long, you know? They need a young guy, a young whippersnapper like yourself doing mm -hmm. that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I think television, I, I belong on television. I think that radio for now is, uh, you know, what I'm doing. We're, we're starting... How long national... have you been in radio? How old were you when you first had your first job? Ten years ago I started. But now we have a nationally syndicated radio program, Dave. I'd like to mention it. It's uh, with D.I.R. Lorimar. We're going to be on every... Uh, Every state in the country. Counting down the hips, probably. Yeah. No, no countdown. Yeah. I'm no Casey Casey. Uh -huh. I'm no jerk. You can count down your own damn records. You don't need me to do that. Please. Everybody here knows how to count. All right. Uh, we'll do a commercial here, Howard. When we come back, you tell us what you're going to do on your uh, syndicated okay, radio sure. show. All right. No we'll, we'll be back there. Howard. <laughs> WXRK. Is that the, that's right. W WXRK. I yeah. hope Jerry Garcia is feeling better. Man, was I shocked. Imagine that guy going into a coma. I can't imagine. The picture of health and Jerry Garcia goes into a coma. <laughs> yeah, I got well, nervous. I was afraid we wouldn't have any more 15 hour concerts with him in Hot Tuna. <laughs> But uh, I'm glad. <laughs> Hot tuna. Yeah. Uh, now tell us the kind of things you're going to do in this uh, syndicated radio show. Well, uh, we're going to bring uh, lesbian dial a day to the rest of the country. I've told you about that. <laughs> People call up and you try and fix them up with various folks yeah, in the studio? Yeah, you know, Jim Lang Jr., I uh, become, I actually become the Jim Lang Jr. experience. Mm -hmm. And uh, I always thought that this was a thing that only New Yorkers could handle, Dave. But mm -hmm. I think the rest of the country is ready. Yeah. And when, when can we uh, start listening for the show? Hopefully for September 1st is our uh, air date. Yeah. All and across the country. Yeah, and then we have other big news that I'm announcing on your show for the first time. This is going to freak some people out in Philadelphia. We're going to start doing our morning show, not only in New York, but it's going to be aired over WISP-FM in Philly. Simulcast. So we're simulcasting into Philadelphia. So you're building a little network. We're building a mini a network yeah. because I can't wait around for any more networks to uh, ask me to work. You're I'm going to start my own, own damn network. Yeah. Going city to city. City to city. Now, do you get more money when you go to Philadelphia? Getting a lot more money, yeah. Getting yeah. more money. In fact, uh, leaving NBC. NBC hardly paid me. Uh, I'm not going to get into the specifics. Now, didn't they re renegotiate your deal at one point? Didn't you go to them and say, I really ought to be making more money? And they said, okay, Howard, we'll Dave, I was more. carrying the radio station, as you know. You know, it sounds awfully pompous when it comes from me, but in all sincerity, <laughs> nobody else... <laughs> nobody else is going to toot my horn, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh. So I have to come on here and say this myself. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> NBC was making like $5 million a year off of my show. Yeah, just selling time on your program. Selling time on my program. Yeah. Family entertainment was what we were about. And we were, well, if you're the Manson family, okay? Thank you. But, Thank you very yeah. much. If you have sixes carved in your head, this is uh, for you. <laughs> but uh, they held me back. I tried to get a network deal with NBC. I wanted to do no a go. network show. No go. They yeah. held me back every step of the way. Now, why did you get uh, released? What, did we ever get to the bottom of that? Well, there was a couple of stories going around, Dave, and right now, you know, I was too emotional the last time I was on to talk about it. You mm -hmm. can see I was deeply upset. Yeah, you were. It had been a couple of months right yeah, after. Yes, so it was yeah. a very emotional yeah. experience. I was crying every night yeah. of my life. But um, the reason I got fired was because the chairman of the board of NBC decided to tune into of RCA, mm -hmm. decided to tune in now to you, my show. How do you know this? Because I know, I know everybody in the business, Dave. No, I just, I've heard rumors of this. I've heard rumors about this. Rumors, you know, yeah. the yeah. rumor mill was yeah. flying. Uh -huh. And um, <laughs> I heard that the chairman of the board was rolling by in his car, and he heard me doing bestiality dial a date, and the guy got bent out of shape. But I wasn't really going to do it. I was talking about doing it. I was discussing it. Just conjecturing that perhaps you would do it. Conjecture, Dave. Yeah. No, but exactly. you, you would never do that, would you? Of course not. I wouldn't set a man up with a dog. I think that's sick. <laughs> you know, at some point, you have to draw a line, don't you? Yeah. Don't you think? Yeah. Uh, and you went to London a couple of months ago? Went to London. We did our show from the Hard Rock Cafe. Those guys bags. They kicked me out of the Hard Rock Cafe. I'm never coming back again. I 
I mean it, Dave. And um, you know they are. I, I've never, never actually been there, but oh, yeah. I, I've heard just nothing. Hey, what do you want to do? Go see Elvis's old guitar hanging on a wall? It's still the same crummy hamburgers. Just because they have Elvis's guitar hanging on the wall doesn't make it any better or worse. Right. I'm sick of the Hard Rock Cafe. I'm tired of those yeah. hip places. Uh, so it's, how, how did the audiences like you in London? Oh, they hated us. Yeah. We are the ugly American. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. Yeah, we did nothing to uh, help the situation yeah. over there. And you, you, have, uh, you have here a, uh, uh, this is the current issue of, well, actually the September 86 issue of... Uh, Penthouse Magazine. Big article in there about uh, you and... Uh, uh, and a lot about a yeast infection. <laughs> You know, I had a great idea to, on this show. You guys never let me do this. I want to ask you why. I was going to come out tonight. I was going to bring two big fluffy pillows mm -hmm. with me. And I thought we would do the interview in a more comfortable environment. Instead of sitting in the chairs where I tend to look bad because you see a side shot of my nose, I would have liked to have sat on the floor in big fluffy pillows and done it like that. Kind of yeah. like interview style, but everybody. And, and you that's your like idea that of a really good idea. You don't like that? Well, I, I don't know that big fluffy pillows really makes so much difference. You want a fluffy pillow next to me? No, I don't, I don't, think, don't so. think I mean, so. I, Howard, you're, you're happening, remember? That's true. Yeah. So, so I think the, the pillows would only interfere with your happeningness. Yes, I, yeah. for sure. Um, so, uh, let me just say that I am very glad to be done with NBC. All right, you said that. Honest to God, that. I am. I think you mentioned that. All right. Uh, K-Rock. K-Rock, WXRK. He's on in the morning now. You, you, you moved from afternoon to morning. Is that a tough transition for you? Oh, it's a lot of fun getting up at four in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I really enjoy it. Yeah, 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 but we did it for more money, basically. Not that I love radio. In fact, I hate radio. Uh -huh. I hate, I, I really do. Never go into radio, although you do get women. Is that right? Yeah, outside of the hotel, there were like five women waiting for me. I couldn't believe it. I have groupies. Would you hear it or in London? No, I'm talking about right here. You stay in a hotel. Yeah, stay in a hotel. Okay. Uh, it's Howard Stern, uh, kids, uh, on Monday through Fridays at WXRK. What time is it, Howard? Six to ten in the morning. Six to ten, a lot of time checks. It's going to be, yeah, a lot of fun, a lot of time checks, a lot of weather. We like to give the weather. Right. Howard Stern. Nice folks. to see you. Thank you very much, Howard. Nice to see you. We'll, uh, we'll pause. We'll be back here. Thanks. Thanks a lot. I remember the first time I ever went to sleep. My mother said, Stephen, go to sleep. I said, what do you mean? She said, go all the way down to the end of tired and take a right. So I went all the way down to the end of tired and just out of curiosity, I took a left and my mother was there and she said, I thought I told you to go to sleep. <laughs> I remember turning from one years old to two years old. I got real scared because I figured in one year my age doubled. I thought, if this keeps up, by the time I'm six, I'll be 90. <laughs> All the plants in my house are dead. I shot them last night. <laughs> I was teasing them by watering them with ice cubes. <laughs> then I got fed up and I just blew them all away. <laughs> I'm kind of tired. I was up all night trying to round off infinity. Then I got bored and I went out and painted passing lines on curved roads. <laughs> Do you think when they asked George Washington for his ID, he just took out a quarter? <laughs> My friend George walked his dog all at once. He walked him from Boston to Fort Lauderdale and back. He said, now you're done. I don't want to hear any scratching at the door. I don't want to hear anything. One night I broke into George's house and I went over to his dog and I put contact lenses in his eyes that had little cats on them. <laughs> and I took one out and he ran around in circles. <laughs> I watched the Indy 500. You know, I think if they left a little bit earlier, they wouldn't have to go so fast. <laughs> Doing a little work around my house, I put hardwood floors over wall-to-wall -wall carpeting. <laughs> I put fake brick wallpaper over a real brick wall. People come over, I say, go ahead, touch it, it feels real. 
On the walls of my house, I have paintings of the rooms above them. So I never have to go upstairs. I don't like the sound of my phone ring, so I put my phone inside my fish tank. I can't hear it anymore. I can tell when I get a call, though, because the fish go back and forth like that. I got out in the pet store. Give me another 10 guppies. I got all the calls yesterday. I put the air conditioner in the window in my house. I put it around, turned it around the other way. I turned it out full glass, and it got cold out. I watched the weather that night. It said it was supposed to be warm. I didn't understand. I was like this. I went to a general store, they wouldn't let me buy anything specifically. <laughs> My girlfriend does her nails with white out. When she's sleeping, I go over and write misspelled words on them. I was walking home late one night, fell asleep in somebody's satellite dish. My dreams are showing up on TVs all over the world. I watched the Super Bowl with my 92-year-old grandfather. Teams go to touchdown, they show the replay. He thought they got another one. I was going to tell him, but then I figured the game he was watching was better. He's a billionaire. He's 92 years old, he's a billionaire. When I was little, he said, Stephen, I'm a billionaire. I said, why? He said, I invented cliff notes. I said, yeah, you're a billionaire? Show me. I took out his wallet, he had a billion dollars in it. He had two half a billion dollar bills. <laughs> Bert Convey was on them. <laughs> I asked him how he thought of inventing cliff notes. He said, well, first I was, well, a long time ago. Well, we'll make the long story short. <laughs> I... <laughs> Last summer I went fishing with Salvador Dali. He was using a dotted line. He caught every other fish. <laughs> I owed my friend George $25. For three weeks, I owed it to him. The whole time I had the money on me, he didn't know it. Walking through New York City, 2.30 in the morning, I have the money on me, he doesn't know it. A man steps out of an alley with a gun. He says, you two, give me all your money. I said, wait a minute. I said, George, here's the $25 I owe <laughs> Thief took one step away, then out of his own money, he took out $1,000 and he gave it to George, and at gunpoint, he made me a bar with $1,000 from George. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Let's please welcome the controversial but lovable Howard Stern. Well, I see we got a new opening for our show. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. Let me just see what this stuff is. The last let, me, let me say something before you get to K-Rock, because I have nothing bad to say about K-Rock. The people I'm working for now are lovely. This is the best radio station in the country. Mm -hmm. I want to say something that uh, being back in this building makes me nauseous. <laughs> I think the biggest bunch of creeps are on this company. I think when I got fired, it was... And you know it too, Dave. It's nothing you haven't said to me before. That's true. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> really? And uh, they know it. The people who fired me, though, are suffering now unbelievably. How so? Well, let's face it, all the ratings. I used to work for NBC Radio. WNBC uh, Afternoons, yeah. 3 and to I, 6. Know, and I used to think the station was happening. Yeah. I got, when they fired me, I was upset. I thought the station was happening. But I realized the station's not happening. I was happening. Mm -hmm. the, the damn station wasn't happening. I was happening. And when I left the station, everything, uh, everything fell apart there. Uh -huh. They got a bunch of jerks there. They got uh, Imus and Soupy Sales. And no, I thought you, I thought you liked uh, Don Imus and Soupy Sales. No, I hated them. I hated working with those guys. I had a. <laughs> now the truth does come out. Now that's, now that's yeah, nothing. real creative. The mouse. Yeah. Give me a break. <laughs> I could have done that on Ed Sullivan. Uh, I miss his history, Soupy's history, the now, entire now, NBC radio division is history, and uh, you know it, David. All right, but did, did, weren't you... You were the one who called me when they hired Soupy and said, what the hell is this? What are they bringing in back for? And don't deny it. But is it, isn't it... There you go. Some of the brilliance of last night. Here's me getting some more laughs. Want to hear me getting some more laughs? Sure. We need our own show already. This is ridiculous. What do you see the overnight ratings on his show? It's gonna oh, it's going to be incredible. Dave, I was carrying the radio station, as you know. You know, it sounds awfully pompous when it comes from me, but in all sincerity, <laughs> nobody else... <laughs> nobody else is going to toot my horn, if you know what I mean. Uh-huh. 
So I have to come on here and say this myself. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> NBC was making like $5 million a year off of my show. Yeah, just selling time on your program. Selling time on my program. Yeah. Family entertainment was what we were about. And we were... <laughs> well, if you're the Manson family, okay? Thank you. But, Thank you very yeah. much. <laughs> if you have sixes carved in your head, this is uh, for you. <laughs> there it is. Some, just some of the... Excitement from last night. Get to the now for a visit from that mystical soothsayer from the East, Sternak the Improbable. Oh, <laughs> oh may a turd fall on your head and, <laughs> and may you smell like a camel uh, <laughs> buzzard breath. <laughs> you big dick, you big fat dick. Welcome. You have no oh, damn wow. talent, Ed. <laughs> uh, yes, seer, sage, soothsayer, and schlep. <laughs> Who drinks Sterno, eats shish kebab, shops at Sears, and watches the Three Stooges and acts stupid. Oh, so right you are. I have here in my hand... Yes? Eight envelopes. No, five. Five envelopes. <laughs> you try to write eight of these things. <laughs> you try to write eight of these. That have been hermetically sealed. <laughs> And uh, the stern act, the improbable. Hey, Robin, how does Johnny actually really know the answers? I mean, nothing's written on those envelopes, is it? No. No. He actually is okay. capable of it. I'm holding up an envelope. Right. I'm not kidding. I now, really am. What stern act, the improbable is going to do, yes. he has the <laughs> questions <laughs> sealed in the envelope, and he will give us the answer. Yes. First envelope, please. The answer is spotless. The answer is spotless. That's what I said. That's what I said. May, uh, may you... <laughs> Mayo. Mayo. <laughs> yeah. The All answer right, is the spotless. The answer is, the question is... Describe a household after the family dog Spot is hit by a cement truck. <laughs> May boy Gary breathe on you. <laughs> Next envelope, please. Oh, I didn't blow into the envelope. That's right. Damn. Oh, you blew it. All right, let's, don't worry. We can make up for it here. All right. The answer is thongs. Thongs. Very good, very good. <laughs> oh, Ed, that was your penis. Oh. I meant to blow into the microphone. May a disease, oh. may a disease yak have an accident on your carpet. <laughs> what was the answer? Thongs. What doth Frank Sinatra thing? What doth Frank Sinatra thing? What doth Thongs. Frank Sinatra thing? Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is just like the carpet show. None of no these are laughs. funny. <laughs> the next envelope, please. Eye strain. Eye strain. <laughs> what do I do when I'm constipated? 